Hello. So glad to see you today. I know I say this every time, but it's a good one again today. Okay, maybe I'm a little biased, but we're going to do one more core workout from a standing position. No kneeling guaranteed. And all you're going to need is a dumbbell. So go grab that dumbbell if you need to, and we'll get started. First off, I just want to start a little bit of a warm up because it's good to get those joints moving. Just do that kick across, belly button spine, shoulders nice and tall. Hope you guys have been having a good week whenever you're watching this. Maybe it's the morning, maybe it's evening, but hope that you're having a good week. Good. Four, three, two, let's go quads and chest. Get some movement through the front of those legs, opening up through the chest. Feels good or should. <laughs> good job showing up today for yourself and for your health. That's a high five to you because I know there's a lot of other priorities we have. So good job. We're kicking it out, by the way. Nice little hamstring stretch. Strike with your heel, and you might even get a uh, calf stretch. Maybe. There's four, three, two, and that'll also help start warming up to your core. Let's go punch across. Good. Feels good, too. Six, five, four, three, two. That's good to warm up through your obliques because we're going to use those today. And step behind a different oblique stretcher here. Trying to just, I want you to really focus on pulling that belly button to your spine. Tightening up your core so that your core is starting to get warmed up for this core workout. Okay. Here's four, three. We are going to do some cardio today too. And now, inner thighs. Oh, that's so nice. I don't know about you guys, but my inner thighs always appreciate this stretch. Just make sure your knee's not going past your toe. You're sending those hips back. Good. Three, two, and one. Okay, let's go shoulders. So we are going to be doing some overhead stuff. And with your dumbbell, you don't want it to be really heavy. So. If you have a couple of dumbbells uh, and you want to vary the weight, you can, but 10 pounds or less is completely fine. We're not, we're not doing any bodybuilding stuff today. <laughs> we switched arm direction, by the way. Good. Okay. Let's go lower, lower back stretch. Uh, you can brace your hands on your knees if you need to, but just send those hips back. Good, okay. And I'm gonna start with a march. If you wanna start with a jog, just start and get some cardio going here, blood flowing through the muscles. And we gotta do a little bit, like I wanna inc include cardio today so that uh, it'll help. <laughs> I wanted to include cardio today so it felt like you were getting more of a full body workout. And it's always good to burn extra calories, right? So let's go tap side to side. If you want to hop it, you can, you don't have to. If you really want that heart rate to start coming up, so you can you can still tap and do a hand overhead. This is gonna start working through your core. Just please keep your belly button to your spine. You can do the hand overhead of the head with a little hop. So whatever you whatever you wanna do. But we're warming up through your core more here as well. Good, good. 10, nine, Eight, seven, six, almost there. 
going back to a jog and back to a jog or a knee. Hey, doing good, right? <laughs> of course, you're working out. What could be better than that? Okay, excellent. Low impact jack or high impact, it's up to you. Awesome. We're just doing 20. Here's 10. Four, three, two. I think that was 20. I don't know. Okay, let's do your first ab exercise. Grabbing a dumbbell. And all we're going to do, overhead, belly button to your spine, uh, pelvic tilt, just going to hold and alternating leg raise. So you're trying to get your knee in line with your hip. So taking that knee as high as you can while you're driving your belly button to your spine. Good. This is going to keep your heart rate up because you have hands over your head. And that's a good thing. Cardio is always good. <laughs> so pretend someone's tickling you. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, almost there. Three, two, and done. Okay. Even though you may not have felt like huge core burn, it was working. You have your core has to stabilize in order to keep the dumbbell overhead. So trust me on that. Okay. Drop that dumbbell. We're gonna go back to those. Step side to side with the arm going overhead. So arm goes over, same arm, same leg. Same arm, same leg. If you want to hop it, you can. Good job. Belly button to spine here. Good. 10, nine, six, five, four, three, two, and done. Okay. Grabbing that dumbbell again. We're gonna do same thing. We're gonna do that same thing again. Dumbbell overhead, pelvic tilt. So squeeze those glutes, push those hips forward. Pretend you're being tickled. And now, nice and slow and controlled, you're going to crunch the dumbbell to your knee. Okay, so you're gonna feel your, your abs working here. If the weight is too heavy, you won't feel abs you'll just feel core. So you want like a five or an eight pound or less, depending on your fitness level. And maybe just having your hands overhead and no dumbbell is, is enough and that's fine too. But the goal is to feel your core working. So, and good thing is you're also getting some back work here. And of course, tricep and shoulder. So it's not just core. You get so many other benefits here. Let's go six, five, but the, as long as you're pretending that someone's tickling you, it's gonna work. And I think that's two and one. If you didn't keep that core tight, then you would just feel all the other muscles. So it's really about focusing on contracting those abs, right? Okay, going back to this one again for cardio. I'm keeping it simple today, nothing fancy, just so that you can so you can step it if you want, but nothing fancy. This is about getting getting in and getting done, right? Not, not spending hours working out. So hopefully your heart rate's up. 10, nine, eight, six, four, three, two, and done. Okay. Both of those exercises, again, so grabbing that dumbbell. Overhead, standing march, pelvic tilt, pretend you're being tickled. So when you should feel a really good crunch. This is a mo mostly lower ab here. But pretend like someone's gonna punch you in the abs and you wanna just feel rock hard abs. That's how this is gonna work. If those abs aren't tight, then you're not gonna feel your abs working, okay? So keep those abs tight. 
Belly button is fine. 10, doing good, nine, eight. Hopefully your shoulders aren't getting too tired. Keep that dumbbell right overhead and that'll help. Here's the four, three, two, and one. Okay, we're gonna go straight into those knee pulls. So dumbbell to knee. Pretend you're being tickled. If you're not feeling anything, pretend that you're gonna slam the dumbbell into your knee without actually doing it. And that, that might help too. So add a little bit of momentum to the dumbbell and that will help you to feel that core too. Good. And you don't have to do it with any. You can just do it with body weight. You can put those hands here. You can put those hands here. And you don't have to have a dumbbell. You can easily get your core body weight, okay? So let's do five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Shake out those arms. Jogging just a little. We're going to go into those hop side to sides again. Here we go. So you can low impact or add a little hop. Good. Belly on the spine even here. Work that core even here. We're going to go to obliques next. Good job. Six, five, four, three, two, and done. Okay. Grab that dumbbell, unless if you have lower back pain, try it first without the dumbbell and see how it feels. So you're gonna go feet shoulder, shoulder width apart, a little bit wider than hip width. You're gonna be here, you're gonna swing up. So abs engage is gonna work your core on the side that you're squatting toward, okay? so. Um, as long as your chest stays tall. So you don't want to be bending down here and looking at the floor. Chest up so your eyes are at the wall in front of you as you, as you go up. Try it with body weight first. If you want to add a dumbbell, we'll do that. So inhale, exhale on the way up. But pretend someone is tickling you even here and you'll get some good core work. Yeah, your legs might feel it too, and that's okay. <laughs> but if you're throwing with momentum, then you will definitely, or you know, squatting to throwing, you will definitely feel the, the core working. Here's five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Ready for the other side? Again, if you need to start body weight because you have lower back, please do. You're just going to momentum, keep your core tight, twist. If you want to add that dumbbell, it can be, you know, if any weight up to 15 pounds, unless you've been training for a long time, and you would want to try 20, but 20 would be really heavy. And then you would take the, the core work out of your core and, and it would just all be shoulder. So here's 10, nine, keeping that chest up, eight. I need to see your eyeballs. There they are, they're so pretty. Five, four, three, almost there, two, and one. Good. How are you feeling? Cardio should be up. We're not gonna do another cardio right now. So this you will need like a gallon of water, a kettlebell, the head of your dumbbell. Hopefully you'll see how your shoulder mobility is on this one, right? <laughs> but all you're going to do zero hip movement and you're just gonna take your dumbbell around your body. So it's gonna force you to work some deep core stabilizers with this one, okay? Slight bend in those knees, shoulders tall, squeeze those glutes. We're just gonna go around and around. Zero movement through your hips. You're using your core to help those hips stay stationary. So we're not, it doesn't look like a hula hoop, okay? <laughs> core, hips, hips to center. 
If this feels too easy, you could always go to a heavier weight and that will work your core more. But I also want you to pretend that someone is gonna punch you and you're tightening up your core. Good, here's five, four, three, two, and done. Other direction. Oh, I hope there's nothing breakable behind you just in case. <laughs> Belly button, that's fine, someone's punching you. Keep it nice and tight. Zero moving through your hips. Knees slightly bent will help. Keep that movement through your hips out, or no movement through your hips. Doing good, almost there. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, almost there. 3, 2, and done. So hopefully you felt some core. So if you want, we can, we're gonna do, now that you've gotten the mo movement, we're gonna go slower. Okay, so now, It's super slow. And you should feel your core maybe a little bit more, hopefully. Hopefully it's not just shoulders, but pretend someone is tickling you. Good. <laughs> Almost there, and then we'll switch direction. This is good for your shoulder mobility here too. If you've had rotator cuff though, if anything hurts, please don't do it. It shouldn't hurt. It should feel feel like you're getting stronger. Okay, other direction. Slow. It's so hard to go slow. <laughs> or at least for me, how about you guys? <laughs> Good. Pretend someone's tickling you. And you want to feel rock hard abs. Oh, doing good. Hopefully your shoulders are doing okay. Ah, who knew it'd be such good shoulder health today, right? Awesome. And done. Okay, we're gonna do a different variation and this is gonna get your heart rate up. So before we did the, you know, from the floor to the sky on the throws, now we're gonna do an ax chopper. So here, but we're gonna go across the body. So abs tight, back tall. You never wanna bend at your waist. Okay, you're gonna brace your core. Inhale, exhale. Good. You can do this body weight if you want. You sh if you have lower back pain and you're feeling it, take a break, do body weight. Good. 10, nine, almost there. Eight, seven, we're glad it's not a real ax, right? Six. <laughs> Five, but you're getting some good core. Three, two, and one. Okay, ready to go that second side. Hopefully your cardio is up. Belly button is fine, keep the back tall. Here we go. Axe chopper down, so your momentum is going down now rather than up. Good. Almost there, 10, nine, keep that back tall, eight, abs engaged, breathe, six, five, four, I think, right? <laughs> Three, sometimes I lose count, sorry, two, and one. Okay, good, shake it out. How are you feeling? Feeling like your core is getting some work. Maybe you feel like your legs are getting work. Shoulders maybe, I don't know. But hopefully core too. Okay, so now one more. If you have lower back issues, be aware of how you feel. So don't over overwork yourself. Uh, don't try to increase your range of motion. If you feel like any twinginess, just stop, okay? Um, just, if you have lower back stuff going on, a tiny little squat, shoulders back, and just go, like someone is tickling you so your abs are tight, and you can just go side to side, okay? You, this, is, this is the beginner right here. If you lock out your knees, 
that's fine too. I mean, keep them slightly soft, bent if your quads are tired from the last couple ones we've done. But um, the more advanced is a little squat, elbow and knee come together. So it's like a sumo squat and you're taking your elbow and your knee together. Keeping that back tall, belly button to spine. Good job. So if this is too easy for you, then I got gotcha. you. We're gonna take those hands overhead. You don't have to do this one, okay? It just increases your range of motion and flexion through your spine. So you do what works for you. Okay, six, five, four, belly button spine, three, work that oblique, two, and one. One more oblique. Hopefully your shoulder's recovered. Grabbing a dumbbell. We're gonna hold it here at your chest. So I don't want you, I don't want you to rest it on your chest. Your chest isn't holding it, your arms, which is gonna force your core to work, okay? So belly button to spine. Elbows high. And you're going to take elbow to opposite knee. So again, pretend you're being tickled. Good. A little bit of short shoulder work, but lots of core. If you don't want a dumbbell, your shoulders are too tired, and you just want to go here, that's totally fine. You just have to really concentrate on tightening up your core to feel that core work. We're almost there. And it'll be a nice little 20-minute workout for you. Six, five, four, pretend you're being tickled. Three, two, and done. Good job. So a quick shoulder stretch. So you'll have to let me know if you felt your core working. But this is a good one to do. It was nice and gentle. So if your shoulders are tired, wait a day to do it again. If it felt good, you can do this every day because it actually increases mobility through your spine. So it's a nice little chest in front, front of the shoulder stretch and you get your cardio. All right, and just a little twist for that upper back. Okay, deep breath in and exhale, one more. And <laughs> you're done. Go have a great day or night. Hey, if you got value out of this video, please subscribe and also comment below what else you'd like to see because this channel is for you, to help you be better in your everyday life. Thanks for subscribing. Tell your friends about it and we'll see you on the next video.